all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on street fighter duel and on today's video i will do the updated uh, tier list more precisely i will add athlete chan lee and summer yang on the tier list this is like overall tier list for every single activity i'm also thinking to make the tier list like pain blade did and a lot of you told me that i do it in that way so i'll make sure to to do that in future so i need to do like separate pvp tier list i need to do separate pv tier list and this one is like overall you know in most cases what characters are the best anyhow let me start so this tier list and this updated tier list won't be easy to make because all i did i had the trial showcases with those characters but by the experience and playing this game i should be fine we're gonna start with summer yang i already talked about him i already made a showcase a trial showcase i made complete overview still we're gonna go uh, through each of those skills so i remind myself and then we're gonna make an overall conclusion where we should put him okay honestly there is one thing that i want to change before we start fade long into a tier uh this guy because of his assist and overall uh, he's a really good buffer and really helpful character so he's better than b rank characters okay so i'll promote him here and maybe a few more changes i will do while i do this tier list like for example i'm thinking placing like street poison into s plus tier tell me about that but lately i've been using her everywhere insane support character with the buffs and you know you need this crits and street poison can offer you that with c1 okay i believe she's that rank of Bizangif of Felina of Jan, like God, all that special characters that can help you through everything in this game. Okay. Anyways, Yank. Okay, let me start for him. So he's super. Let me remind ourselves. Plans, blah blah blah. Striking the target twice. Dealing flame damage equal to 621% of attack. The first strike has 50% chance of inflicting armor break armor break decreases defense like i already discussed this summer yank if he was blue typing wind typing or even yellow typing he wouldn't be that valuable right but for the fire characters oh boy that makes a big difference and he is low key you will need him in your fire team eventually because of his insane support for the fire characters so because of his typing he's overall really good character really good support but he because of his typing his uh his valuability did i use the correct word here um he is now way more valuable than if he was like some other element let me say it like this okay so armor break beautiful uh, the second strike applies shield equal to 500% of Summer Yang's defense to all teammates. So, he's that insane support with the defense reduction, pretty much. Shield. Level 3, 100% uh, chance to inflict armor break. So, he will do armor break. If you're level 3 with his super, he will do armor break. So, debuffing, debuffing the opponents and also increasing the defense to all allies beautiful right really good for the fire characters i cannot i i, I would like to get him to the sss like no joke while the shield grant oh, let me go with combo one first uh so this is aoe if i remember sirs with this applying shield equal to 800 percent of summer yang's defense to all teammates again he's applying that defense with both super and his combo one but with his combo one so with super he do, does the armor break debuffing the defense of the opponents with his combo one additionally heals the whole team for five percent again beautiful healing i mean nothing spectacular but sometimes that fell five percent can be helpful and additionally heals the teammate with lowest hp for eight percent oh okay that's eight percent of summer yang's max hp wait wait wait, wait. i 
I, I, I would need to test it out, but yeah, that healing is not 5%, like 5%, but 5% of max HP. Really decent heal, plus again, he's applying the defense to all your teammates and the healing. Really good character. Uh, strikes a target, dealing damage. Each strike has 25% chance. Armor break, fine, like... <sighs> Each time armor break is inflicted, the super combo gauge fills by 60. Okay. That's good. But. That's good. But 25% to inflict, you know, low low percentage. But every time you inflict armor break, your gauge will fills, fill up by 60. Okay. Need to test that out, that combo too, like in real matches with a real team. But I can tell you right away that passive is is MVP. Combo 1, super, and passive is what most of the time you will be like, yes, 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 for your fire characters, okay? While the shield granted by the super combo or combo 1 is active, damage dealt by the target is increased. So, passively, he will do bigger damages when he has the armor, okay? And if you do the armor break on the opponents, the defense will go down and he will do even more and more damage. Target's effect accuracy is increased by 20%. Okay, target's damage dealt and effect accuracy are increased by 25%. Hmm. So that base chance overall gets increased, right? Okay. When a shield is granted by the super combo or combo one, Summer Yang gains super armor. Cannot be knocked back. Wow, 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 wow. This guy is a savior for the fire characters. Like, no joke, I can easily put him in the A+. Easily, bro. Just because of his high valuable characteristics for the fire characters. Shield, debuffs of defense for the opponents, buff on yourself for attack, healing, armor break, super armor. Summer Yang is a really good character. Now, after sleeping it on, after the trial showcases and many other things, Summer Yang is even more valuable than at least Chun Li overall. Okay? Even though I said it differently on my first initial showcase, but that was first impression. Have that in mind. Don't be strict. Don't be strict on me, okay? Sometimes we're all humans. We cannot, from the first get go, understand completely everything. I mean, you're gonna understand it. I, I understand it, like, why I'm even bothering with that, right? Okay, but that's me. I want to do as best as possible. Uh, okay, Chun Li. I was highly impressed with her, like, highly, highly. Now, over time, I thought about that. Like in the trial showcase, she was completely dominating. I cannot lie, because of her insane buffs. There are multiple opinions about her. Like, what I heard, Pika doesn't like that character at all. Painblade is also like, need to test it out, need to see the numbers, right? I agree. Because this character was like, doing such a good job in Trial Showcase, but that's a Trial Showcase. Okay? It's a little bit different story. But I will analyze now her one more time, and I will make a conclusion. I still think that she's amazing. I mean, really good support character but just because we already have like street poison we have like elena uh many other crazy like especially because elena street poison um the street poison is just way better like with that critical rate up way better okay so you won't use so much like there is a replacement for the chun li but for the yang it's a different story that's really important that you know so I hope you just don't skip it and see the tier list. Okay, let's start with the super. Unleashes the energy blade that deals damage equal to 340, 324. Of attack to enemies with small AoE. Small, small AoE are trash. They're like generally single target. <coughs> Sorry. I, I've been talking so much. Uh, upon hit, uh, the ally with the lowest HP by... 
Percentage also recovers HP equal to 40% of the damage dealt, capped at 150% of fighter's attack. So she will do the damage, when she hits, she will heal the lowest HP ally. Okay. If a wind vortex belonging to the friendly side is on the field at the time of unleashing an additional energy blade that penetrates all enemy targets is generated, dealing damage equal to 122. Like she won't do a lot of damage, have that in mind. Upon hit, the ally with the lowest HP by percentage also recovers HP equal to 40% of the damage dealt. Healing received increases to 60% of damage dealt kept. Like she won't do big damage, so that heal won't be like that game changing, okay? That is that part that at the beginning I was like, yo, she heals so much with the lowest, but the healing won't be like too crazy. What I insanely like about her is that combo one and passive. Uh, wind vortex that hovers in the area for 12 seconds now she works around that weird wind vortex so you always want to start with combo one because then you're gonna have wind vortex and then you have like super etc etc okay wind vortex dissipates after four hits from range attacks and have been, like you can lose that wind vortex fast duration of wind vortex is extended to 16 seconds overall the character on paper looks amazing but when you think about how much the damage she's dealing, how much she's healing, how much she's that and this. Now, this is the part where I think that she's amazing. Okay. When a wind vortex belonging to the friendly side is on the field, 20% of damage otherwise taken by ally is absorbed by vortex. That is good. 20% is huge. When a wind vortex belonging to the friendly side is on the field, the attack of the friendly fighters is also boosted by 50% while their effect resistance is boosted by 30%. Effect resistance can be highly valuable and especially if boosting attack by 50%. Uh, okay, then it's like friendly side, 20% of the damage otherwise taken by allies. Okay, now the 25% and now you have additional boost that of attack by 20% to all allies. And then effect, effect resistance is also boosted. But she revolves around that wind vortex. So if you lose the wind vortex, you're nothing, bro. You will need that combo one again. So like Painblade pretty much said, and most of us, like we need to see the precise number to know. But based off everything what I said and um, thinking about that, watching different videos, making some kind of like conclusion about her, She's way better on paper than in reality. Unless she's a hurricane that deals damage equal to 40 or 190% of attack to enemies within AoE. When the hurricane moves to the friendly side, at least John Lee regains HP equal to 20% of attack. When HP vortex belonging to the friendly side is on the field, its skill damage and healing effects are enhanced by 50%. Also, combat 2 is not bad to use, but again, such a low damage have in mind uh this is an interesting super is an interesting attack because she can avoid a lot of things mm, win vortex yeah overall definitely not a god definitely not as plus like i said elena street poison are still the main deal so like i said go for her for collection purposes i already said that multiple times if you wanna because she's like look at her but to max her out and everything else not worth it because you should work on street poison and elena okay that's the case s tier no a plus yeah she will she will go into a tier nothing more than that even though on paper she looks even better than uh, Summer Yang, but Summer Yang has that highly usability for the fire team overall, and you're gonna use him much more than Chun Li. Okay, guys, I'll end the video. I know it's a little bit longer for only two characters to put them in the tier list. I'm even thinking to put it like this and just remove the C tier. Like, all of these characters can be usable in the right teams, okay? But yeah, I don't know. Atlet Chun Li. Um, still i think she's a good support character that attack boost and effect resistance can be game changing in some cases i need to test out her healing yet many other things but i think she is nothing more than a rank okay oral after further thinking further analysis yeah 
i'll end the video here hopefully you did enjoy it leave a like subscribe love you so much thank you for the all amazing support on the street fighter duel on black clover mobile uh, i don't know i'm that makes me really happy and motivated to keep on going like crazy and that's my goal go like crazy and i never stop that's it bye